Hey guys, Magic Master here. Bit of a different setup today, I know. I'm gonna explain that later. But um, today I'm actually just gonna be showing you the tutorial for a trick. Because as you could tell by the title, you're gonna be teaching the spectator a trick and I don't have a spectator. So I can't really do a performance because it's just a tutorial, you know? So we're just gonna do that. Before we get into that, go subscribe to all the links I have in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So, I would tell the spectator, well not yet, actually first I would have them pick a card, so let's just say they picked that one. Now even though I'm teaching this to you, I still don't want to know what the card is, so go ahead and memorize it, I'm not looking at it. So, uh, set that there for now. So I would tell the spectator that magicians use key cards in order to locate their card. So I would memorize this card right here, which is the Ace of Diamonds. So now I know that your card is below the Ace of Diamonds, just like that. So if I deal out the cards here, uh, let's see, there we go. There's the Ace of Diamonds. So that means this right here would be your card, and this right here would be a card nobody knows about. And set the deck side. Since you already know what my card is, I'm going to take it and just put it in my pocket here. Wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Hold on a minute. Where'd the Ace of Diamonds go? This is the Ten of Diamonds. That's interesting. So that should be your card, but what, what is it? Oh, okay. There's the Ace of Diamonds. So, if your card's below the Ace of Diamonds, I mean, this right here should be your card. Alright, guys. That was actually a performance. So now, let's get into the real tutorial. So, you're pretending you're going to teach the spectator a trick, but you really have this... Um, triple climax uh, trick for them. So you're not actually teaching the trick to them. So first of all, this trick does require a bit of a setup and it requires a duplicate card. So you can have this one of two ways, either if you have a deck that comes with a duplicate card, like the Bicycle Tetra deck comes with a duplicate Ace of Diamonds and Ace of Spades. So I'm using the Ace of Diamonds here as my duplicate card. Or if you have two decks that have the same color back, same company, you know, that kind of thing, you can just pull out one card from one deck and find the matching card in the other deck. And then you want to take the two duplicates, set them on the bottom of the deck, and also before the trick, you want to just take a card, put it in your pocket. It does not matter what the card is. Okay, so now you go up to the spectator, and you say, today I'm just going to be teaching you a trick. So you start by having them pick a card. Make sure it's not the bottom two cards, because those are your duplicate cards. So they pick a card, let's just say this one. And then you say, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you say that even though I'm teaching this trick, I still don't want to know what your card is, because really, you're still doing a trick for them. So they memorize their card. In this case, it's the two of clubs. And then what you want to do is you want to get their card below the Ace of Diamonds. So how you can do that is a Hindu shuffle. So you peel off a small chunk of cards, peel off another chunk just like that, and these are just the... <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Little uh, Magic Master blooper for you guys there. Um, usually I would stop the video and make a new one, but I really don't have time right now, so I guess I'll treat you guys to a nice blooper. I dropped some cards. Okay. So let's go back to that Hindu shelf. <laughs> Alright, so you take off a small packet of cards from the top, take off another small packet. So what you've really done is just gotten the bottom two cards right here. So now you have them place their card right here. And then you say, now I know your card is below the Ace of Diamonds. You explain how you memorize it and stuff like that. So you say, now I know your card is below the Ace of Diamonds. But you really have two Ace of Diamonds on top of it. So you say, if I deal out the cards here, 
when we get to the Ace of Diamonds. And you don't want to deal too fast and go past the Ace of Diamonds because you would deal the second Ace of Diamonds and they'd be like, wait, what? Why are there two in the deck, you know? So once you think you're getting close, start dealing slower. And you say, okay, here's the Ace of Diamonds. So that right here is your card, which is really the other Ace of Diamonds, so make sure they don't look at it. And then you say, the next card here is a card nobody knows about, but it's really their card, the Two of Clubs. So you set that there and there. And then you set the deck aside, say, since you already know what my card is, I'm going to take it, put it in my pocket. And then what you're doing is just switching the Ace of Diamonds out for the other card in your pocket, and you leave the Ace of Diamonds in your pocket. So you can do a thing like, oh, wait a minute, that didn't look like the Ace of Diamonds, you know, and then pull out the other card. And say, okay, hold on. So... Where's the Ace of Diamonds then? So you take what should be their card, flip it over, show it's the Ace of Diamonds, and then the next card, which should be a mystery card that nobody knows about, is really their card, and you reveal that. So that's why I was doing this setup, so I could show you guys me putting the card in my pocket. Because then wouldn't want to like take it off camera on the table, because obviously you guys would think I was switching a card. Doing the pocket thing makes it more uh, believable on camera. So that's why I did that. All right, guys, that was the trick. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.